Drizzy Drake's son. What does that mean? There's a lot of friends of me that are really nice to me. What do they say when they're being when they're being nice? They say, I like you because you're being nice to me. And what do they say when they're being mean? They say, I don't like you because you're being mean, mean to me. And were you? I wasn't mean to them. Are you sure? I'm sure. The way you said that made me think that you were being, maybe being mean. No, I'm not. But why you look away? They were fighting me, so I fight them back. How you fight them back? I just put my hand over his arm, then twist, not not twist his leg, but I just twist him on the floor. Did you ever punch anybody in the nuts? <laughs> no, never. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Can you read? No, I can't. Why not? Because, but there's a, a him that can read. His name is Kyle. Nerd. What does nerd mean? Too smart for school? Yeah. Do you think if you had a better dad, you would be able to read? This is my better dad. Do you think if he did a better job with you at home that you'd be able to read? Yeah, and that's a funny dad. Also, he does a lot of jokes. Does Adonis ever try to cock block you so he doesn't split his inheritance? No, no, wait. No, no, not really, no. But now that you think about it. I was thinking about it though, like, yeah, no, he definitely just like always is like vibing out with me, telling me like how great I am as like a father, like a single father. Mm -hmm. So maybe he is trying to like deliver a message. You know, Glenny Balls used to be a dad. He used to be a dad. He didn't like it, he quit. It's crazy. Yeah, canceled it. Sad. Left alone. Left about a mountain. Yeah. You're sick. Where are you from? I'm from um, Toronto, Canada, where we are. Is it true that the most beautiful girls in the world are here in Toronto? I would, I would say so, yes. How'd you get them here from Miami? You flew them in your plane? <laughs> um, oh, man. Um, that's a valid point. Do they come in your plane? Yeah, yeah. You have a plane? I have a plane. You have a bed on there? I do. Four. Four beds? Mm -hmm. What about snacks? Snacks? I got snacks. What are you into? What are you into? Cheez-Its. I got that. Mm -hmm. What else? Glenny? Kit Kats? I got many ones. Fuck yeah. Did you just ask what kind of snacks Glenny Balls is into? <laughs> Sorry, Glenny. Fuck it. We have a time constraint. How private is the plane? It's private. Can you walk around in your underwear? I could, I guess. I mean, I travel pretty heavy. You don't wear underwear? No, I said I travel heavy. What is it? What is that? It's not, it's not like a... It's not a... It sounded dirty. I don't know. You're, it's not like a... I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it sounded bad. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I have a lot of people on the plane. You ever had Bill Clinton on your plane? I haven't. You have? I haven't. True or false, you had a necklace made mm -hmm. with 42 diamonds mm -hmm. of the 42 times you considered getting proposed. Well, yeah, it was, it was more like a, it was more just a joke, but obviously people took it pretty literal. I was just trying to have an interesting, interesting story. And then it obviously- Glenny Balls has an interesting story. What is it, Glenny? He has a necklace for every single time he's ever thought about boobs. <laughs> That's it right there. We got to get it redone, though, because he got that when he was 14. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's racing. Yeah, well, I feel like we'd all probably... I mean, yours is, yours is heavy. It's but... extensive. Yeah. As it should be. Yeah, of course. I'm not mad about it. By the way, one of the greatest things that we have on Earth. Necklaces? Tits. Tits. Oh. Yeah. What's the right thing for me to call women? Bitches or hoes? <laughs> Um, For me, <laughs> I, uh, I I actually am proud to say that I don't I don't I, I I don't really drop the b word like like in person. I've heard you say it before. No, like I'll, I'll like 
I'll say it. Jake, I've heard you say it. No, I'll say it in, in raps. Jake, a lot, a lot. Say a lot <laughs> after that. Say it again, but say, it, say afterwards, say a lot. I've said it in raps. I mean, I've had obviously a, a long career. Mm-hmm. I've said it in raps a fair share. Yeah, right. But, like, I'm not really just walking around the streets like, bitch, 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 bitch. Mm. You're saying hose. So you're saying I should say hose? <laughs> hose is better than bitch for sure. Okay. Is it true you're an executive producer? Yes. What have you executive produced? Um, Euphoria. Oh, really? Which is a television show. Um, what does that mean, executive producer? What does it mean? It just means that you're, you know, executive producing right. the show, right? There's a lot of women who want to executive produce your baby. Is that true? Probably. Why don't these girls just adopt? I'm not a rocket scientist. I agree with you. That's, that is, that's, that's a really valid point. Wait, let me do that again for the take. Why don't these bitches just adopt? Oh my God. It's <laughs> a valid point. Seems like a hard life though for you. There's a lot of people chasing you around, a lot of girls trying to hunt you down. You ever think about just getting a procedure and having your wiener removed? No. No. I just need a drink. This is Glenn, you want a drink? What do you got? I don't know, whatever. Just like a drink. Yeah. Thank you. That's like Thank tequila you. passion fruit. I usually don't drink on the job, but I will. <laughs> if there was a Hall of Fame for life, just a life hall of fame. Who lived the best life? Do you think you'd be in it? Who's lived the best life? Yeah. <sighs> oh man, I mean, I, I, I definitely for like if there was like a like Canada one. Canadian life hall of fame. Yeah. Because it would be like Mike Myers. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling probably lived a pretty sweet Reynolds, life. Dan Aykroyd. Again, Patron, like invented it. So had to, had to live like a decent life, right? Dad Aykroyd about the Patron? Yeah, right? What? Yeah. Dad Aykroyd? Yeah. Like the Blues Brothers Dad Aykroyd? Yeah, that's his. No, he did it. Yeah, that's his liquor. Dad Aykroyd. Yeah. Did not invent Patron. Yeah, he did. Who do you think invented it? T-Pain? You guys have been drinking, huh? <laughs> Dan Aykroyd invented Patron. Did Dan Aykroyd actually invent Patron? What about a Hall of Fame for being an absolute thought? Would you be in that? Stop. You know who would. Mm, I'll take that. I'd be there, though. Probably me, me and GB together. Bust right next to each other. Right? Yeah, that'd be great. No, Dan Aykroyd didn't invent Patron. Do you feel like you have a lot of feelings? I do. What's your favorite thing to feel? Oh, uh... I like a cold plunge. Oh, really? Yeah. Like I like to get out of a cold plunge and then just be like, whatever that feeling is. Cold? Fair. Mm-hmm. But just like, what 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 else comes with it too? Small penis. Again, fair. But I like the other things that I feel as well. How about this? Let's do a thing where I just name a feeling and you tell me if you like to feel it. Okay. Romantic. Yeah. Jealous? No. Fingers in your booty hole? No. No. It's fine. It's just yes or no. You answered your question. I know. You have more to say? That's your top three? It's not my top three. My top three? (laughs) You said the romantic one, booty hole, and uh, jealous would be tied for two. Two Two-way tie. Do you like when you're doing a, do you like whenever you're, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Glenn, he has chocolate. Do I really? Fuck. <laughs> and he's, he's. You want to hear what's crazy? That's not even from right now. <laughs> it's from last night. Stop. <laughs> Hashtag LA Nights. <laughs> you're sick, TV. Stop. <laughs> I'm not looking at the either of you. You like to gamble? I love to gamble. I sounded way too enthusiastic about that, but yeah, I really do like to gamble. And what's the best thing to bet on? Oh, um, fatherhood. 
You bet on fatherhood? <laughs> you can always bet. You bet on fatherhood a lot? I just meant it more like an encouraging, like, you can always bet on fatherhood. <laughs> right? I've never heard that before. <laughs> I just meant, like, like for, for all the people out there, you can always bet on fatherhood. House always wins, though, right? Have you ever bet on yourself? Oh, that's a good one, too. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely bet on yourself if you're confident. That's how Pete Rose went down. Oh, wow. Correct. All-time hit leader. So he bet He bet on his own hits. He was on the Reds. He bet the Reds to win. I wish I could bet on my own hits. Right? You might make more money betting on your own hits than fatherhood. But you can always bet on fatherhood. You like our gift? Yeah. You didn't say, thank you. And number two is my favorite number. You like going number two? Yeah. So it's a good gift? Yeah. Well, is there anything you want to say or anything like that? Bye-bye. Even outside of bye-bye, is there any one more thing you forgot to say but you were about to say it? I forgot to say that I'm a shooting star.